everybody! Welcome to another Valheim episode. New episodes every five days at 10 a.m. Nicaraguan time, so subscribe if you want to catch them. This video will show you how to hunt locks from the Iron Age. I want to show you a way that you can start getting lox meat early on because the cooked lox meat is a really good food and it's also quite abundant because each lox drops four of them. But it can be quite tricky because the lox have quite high stats. So in order to fight them, you need a shield or a bunch of arrows. So I'm going to show you how to use a shield and parry them, but sort of with really low skills. So the minimum gear you're going to need for this is a mostly upgraded banded shield and an ancient bark spear and then a huntsman's bow. You don't need that many arrows because we're using the huntsman's bow to pull stuff because it pulls one enemy at a time. Let's get to it. The first thing to understand is you need food. And I actually use all three food items and no stamina items. And this is because the game looks at your health to determine the effectiveness of your blocking. And I want you guys to be able to follow along with me, even if you only have like a level two blocking skill. Personally, my skills never get past 20 because I die too much. But who knows, maybe you guys are better at this game than I am. Now, without further ado, Let's go find some locks. Oh, all right. Well, that was easy. Looks like we got a group of three over there. So now that we've found our locks, we've got to find our fighting spot, and we've got to make sure there's no gnarly skeeters running around. All right. Here we go. So first things first, let's pull the locks. And because we're using the Huntsman bow... Theoretically, only one lox will come here, whereas if you shoot with other bows, it's possible to aggro two of them. Now we're going to get our shield and our spear, and we're trying to parry him, just like that. And because we have so much food, we have enough health to be able to block him, even though my block skill is really low, and I'm just using an iron shield. So when he attacks, we just parry, boom, and then we try and get three hits with a spear in. And then all we have to do is get in, I think it's like five volleys. Wait for the parry, parry, and then get three attacks in. And don't go for more than three because these guys are really, really strong. So they can still kill you really easily. Oh God, wolf. Ooh, that goblin. Oh, a one star goblin, where did you come from? Let's take care of this guy. Come on, buddy. Nice, there we go. All right, so now, yeah. Oh, looks like someone knows we're here. Probably that other goblin. Oh, either way, now let's pull the next locks. Make sure to keep an eye on your rested buff. Make sure you're rested and that you have full health because if you have a little bit of health then your block's gonna fail and the locks is just gonna wreck you. Oh, yeah. See see how there I tried to block, but he blasted me back? That's what'll happen if you don't have a high enough block skill or you don't have enough health. Oh, the goblin joined. So fighting locks when other enemies are around is how you die. Because the locks, you need to stay quite focused to attack them. Whereas the other enemies, you don't need to be as focused. And I usually use a dagger to kill the goblins, so I'm going to try and kill these goblins. And then I'll fight the locks. And again, you really don't want to be fighting multiple enemies at once. That's how you die. And also, you don't want to <laughs> fight when you're not rested. That's also how you die. Oh, I almost got him. See, I'm, I'm struggling a bit because I have so much health, but I have, like, no stamina. There we go. All right, let's see if I can actually, can I fight this Lox if I don't have a rested bonus? I don't think so. I don't think I'll be able to block him. Let's see. Oh, okay, I blocked him. He just knocked me back a bunch. Yeah, see, so I went for the fourth attack there and he landed a hit on me. So you really don't want to be impatient. That's how you're going to die. Now we're ready to take out the third locks. This one should be a lot easier because we took care of those goblins. So 
now we'll just be able to fight the locks on his own. As he comes over this hill here. Well, what's he doing? Looks like he's fighting something. Ah, deer. Okay. Boom. Ah. If you get blasted too far back like that, then don't try and get your three hits in because he only stays stunned for a small amount of time. And then he'll attack you again. See? So if you try and rush him, then he's just going to kill you. And you might find that suddenly you're sort of no longer able to block him. You see what's happening? That's actually because enough time has passed that my food bonuses are starting to go away. So I'm going to refresh those, and now I should just be able to block him again. See? He still kicks me back, but it's not so bad. And if you're still having trouble, you might only be able to block that attack. Because his second attack actually does a lot more damage, the one where he goes up in the air. So you might want to try and run away when he does that. See how I blocked, but it hurt me? Whereas this one I can block and hurt him just like that. You can throw your spear, but I don't really recommend you do that. Probably end up losing it. Boom, there we go. See? It's not too crazy. You really can farm this locks meat with Iron Age gear. I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can tell, you still need to find the locks, but you really can't fight them with minimal gear. If you want more of this kind of content, then please wait five days and there'll be a new video just for you. And if you want to support my work, then consider checking out my tutorial about setting up a dedicated Valheim server so that you can play more easily with your friends. It's a great way to enjoy the game. Thanks for watching, and comment below if you got any ideas for something you want me to make a video about. I love making Valheim videos, and I'll have a blast. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!